Welcome to Root Stem, folks, and welcome to this unboxing for this and this. Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me. If you do hear some vibrations in the background, I do apologise. The next door neighbour is having a new garden put in. And uh, unfortunately, I've got to do this during the day. So, what we've got is the Cargo 8 Ridge Hauler. And we've also got the Cargo 8 Ridge Hauler trailer. Now, what I'm probably going to be doing actually with this vehicle, because I quite like the look of this vehicle, I might get a couple more and I might use them as substitute... Um, not rock grinders, but the transport for my Gene Steeler Cult Force, because of course, you always need a transport for your Gene Steeler Cult Force. This one might actually come in handy. I'm not particularly fond on the wagons. I like the rock grinder with the, the bull blade variant, but I'm not particularly bothered about the standard ones. This one might be a good substitute. With it being Gene Steeler Cult as well, you know you're always gonna get some, uh, some good alternatives. You can always get some good alternatives. I did get the trailer, because I think having in Necromunda, if we do manage to get around to having those type of games, having both of these two sets together is going to be great. And what I'm also going to be able to do uh, with this is have it maybe as some terrain for Kill Team. So it's, it's pretty much going to be a good kit. Uh, but let's have a look to see how good it actually is. So we've got the typical usual Games Workshop Fallout. Years and years ago, those that might remember Rogue Trader in 2nd Edition, you might remember that we used to be able to pull some polystyrene out and we used to be able to turn that polystyrene into a building or ruin many, many moons ago. Right, so nice bit of plastic. Always got that lovely brand new plastic smell. We've got a turret style cupola, I think that's what it's called. Uh, we've got heads, but the heads don't look particularly interchangeable. They do look a little bit static. Maybe that's so that everyone can actually have Use this ridge hauler um, in everything just with a generic head. It's got a hell of a lot of wheels. That's pretty cool. And some axles. Hmm, I'm hoping this is not too complicated to put together. Uh, the axles on one of the Forge World models, the one like a buggy. Uh, I'll stick it up. Uh, I'll stick the name of it up on here. That had some pretty gnarly axles underneath it that were actually quite difficult to put together. Two sprues of that, I'm guessing. One is going to be one side and the other for the other. Uh, although... No, there's eight wheels, so it's probably all together. No, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. So we've got what looks like uh, one of the actual containers. It's giving us some barrels. I always like some barrels. And of course, it's got um, some of the other type of cases. So this is giving you some scatter terrain in here as well. Uh, hopefully, that's going to be pretty cool to sort of add on to this. But yeah, you are getting some little bits of scatter terrain. The idea would be that you'd be able to take the container off and put it back on again. That would be pretty cool, to be honest. Especially if you don't have to attach it. And it will make it easier for painting. Main body of... It's quite chunky plastic. I'm not seeing much in the way of difficulty with this particular kit so far. Uh, not for myself, anyway. Uh, some big cannons. I'm hoping they're big cannons. They might be big exhausts. Keep having to reference back to the actual picture. Oh, no, the, the exhaust. <laughs> I'm thinking, wait, you got some giant auto cannons. Uh, they're not auto cannons. They look like they're interlocking sort of parts. Oh, that could just be for one side. Right, and then you've got your ridge. Oh, that is a very... Uh, that's not... That's very plain Jane, isn't it? That's not a uh, the greatest looking manual I have come across. That is very basic. I'm used to sort of having some nice feathered edges uh, of different pieces of artwork. That is very, very plain. Very plain. Very plain indeed. And a uh, Necromunda transfer sheet. I do like a good Necromunda transfer sheet. It's actually got the logos on there for the various different um, uh, houses. That's going to be quite cool to use. You've got some see-through. I'm guessing they're see-through backed uh, icons with some white backed icons. And you've even got... Oh, wow. You've even got names. Rin's World. Ah, that's probably what I'm going to be using. Toad Crimson Fist Player here. Right. Let's have a look at this. So it does look like it's going to be quite 
Yeah, definitely eight pieces. You're going to be, it's quite a big base to that. It's a very big base. It doesn't look like it's going to be really that easy. It looks quite complicated. It does look like it's going to be a, a pretty difficult build to put together for the undercarriage. I'm not quite sure if I'd put that one, this one maybe onto a base just to make sure that the undercarriage is not going to get carried away. I feel like I'm building a Lego set with these instructions. This is insane. It's very complicated. The front, it's going to be quite, by the looks of it, it's quite a big, biggish vehicle once it's actually completed. And there's the, there's the auto cannon. <laughs> Hmm. Heavy stubber grenade launcher. I'll probably more than likely use a heavy stubber rather than a grenade launcher myself. It's more, it's more part, that's more part and parcel of my Escher. And of course, it'll fit better in with my Gene Stealer Colt. Always think sometimes when you've got something that you might be able to use it for multiple different purposes. There, of course, is the uh, container which you can just shove in. I'm hoping that's just easy, easy in and easy out. And then you've got an open hatch with another heavy stubber where you can stick some stone bolters on there. Having some more heavy stubbers is always good, is that? That looks like it's dual heavy stubber down here, but I'm not quite sure. I'm wondering if that's some form of misprint. Is it a dual heavy stubber? It doesn't look like a dual heavy stubber on the, uh, the old box art. Oh, doesn't look like a dual heavy stubber at all. On the old box out. Just looks like a standard heavy stubber. I think that might be some form of printing problem. I think these, of course, have done with CAD. Ah, right, okay, so that's pretty cool. The fact that you can actually uh, not actually bother with the um, main cab section uh, and just put in sort of other pieces of debris. That's really cool. That actually makes it quite versatile. Quick, nice and simple short video. We'll have a quick look at this one. And the additional trailer, you are literally just getting an additional set of wheels to chrome the actual base and carriage. And of course, you are getting the additional... Um, yeah, you're getting the additional um, pieces. Again, showing you the examples of how you can actually put some of the accessories. You've got, again, that really boring looking... It reminds me of Old Games Workshop does this. This is what kind of some of the instructions used to look like when you used to get them back in the days of second edition. And I am getting another sprue with that. Um, not quite sure if I would recommend purchasing one of those until you need it. It's not something that I, you would necessarily want to buy straight away when you get this particular box set. Right, well, thank you very much for watching me open up the Ridge Hauler. I do think that this is going to be a fantastic sort of build project i also think it's going to look great with uh my escher force and my gene steel occult force um i'm probably just going to paint it up with generic red that's actually on here because then it can just fit with anything that i need it to fit with um i'm going to be able to do a lot of chipping on this vehicle i'm quite excited on how i'm going to get this painted i'll probably do a painting tutorial regarding this particular beast and um uh, head over if you can head over to my tiktok in the next few days i'm probably gonna have a video uploaded just basically showing everything showing me building one of these things you'll be able to see the frustration written all over my face as i do well thank you very much for watching guys we'll see you next time